Zatanna, mistress of magic. Sean Jones, the shape-shifting Martian Manhunter. Green Lantern, galactic law enforcement officer. Flash, the fastest man alive. Wonder Woman, Amazon Princess of Themyscira. The Dark Knight Detective, Batman. Man of Steel, Superman. Together, they are the Justice League, the most powerful force for good on this planet. They have never failed in their ongoing mission to protect the people of Earth. Although, to be fair, they've never faced a threat as dire as this one. There's a problem in Metropolis. I'm busy. Call Superman. You're closer. I called you. On my way! Approaching the coordinates. What am I looking for? Robots, Batman. Lots and lots of robots. Asking for any help. Well, since I'm here anyway. That's the last of them. Not necessarily. We don't know who's behind this. Can't help you there, Batman. But you're right. There's plenty more robots where those came from. We use them all the time. They're for manufacturing, but they won't respond to commands. They're out of control. They resemble the ones Batman and Superman were just fighting. They're everywhere. Please help us. We're going to try and get into Star Labs and help those people. Superman out. Impressive. Let's wreck them. Retreat or destroy. I don't think he wants us to go inside. Truly, you are the world's greatest detective. Get the feeling we're being led right where they want us to go? Like lambs to the slaughter. Not exactly. Greetings, Superman, Batman. The display of skill and power it took to get this far is impressive, if not altogether unexpected. Brainiac, I was wondering when you'd finally show your face. What are you doing here? That should be obvious. Destroying you. We've been had. It's one of his robot duplicates. All of this was just to distract us. I've accessed the security footage. Another Brainiac robot. But that one got away with the goods. He didn't take much. Just whatever was in these two. A DNA sample, and that meteorite that landed in Utah last month. Give it to me. I've listened to your telepathic whispers. I've done what you asked. Reveal your secrets to me, Stone. Give me the power you promised. You know well that your labors are far from complete, Brainiac. You'll get your reward when everything is done, not before. As you say, my master plan continues to unfold. It's just a matter of time now. Brainiac did all this for a rock? And some Kryptonian DNA. Not yours. Looks like someone intends to resurrect your old sparring partner. We need to find the real Brainiac. Now! I can track the meteor's signature radiation. 
When you find him, call me in. I'm going to make sure everyone here is okay. Metropolis again. I suppose I could ask Superman to go back, but... He just reported in. They've got their hands full. We can handle whatever Brainiac dishes out. Agreed. I'll pre-program the teleporter pad. We don't need the teleporter. I'm magic, remember? Silapartum! It's all right now, officer. Everyone is safe. Not that we don't appreciate the rescue, but on your planet, you must have a different definition of the word safe. Those things are all over the park attacking people. We'll stop them. What's wrong? Have you been injured? Let's take it! <laughs> I don't get it. Brainiacs using robots to gather people to change into human bees? Not his style. We have to assume he's not working alone. And that his tag team partner's waiting for us inside. Wanna do this? Most assuredly. I'm gonna take a flyer here and guess that you're in charge? Watch your tone, human. You are in the royal presence of the Queen Bee. Some queen, taking orders from Brainiac. I answer to no one. Our goals are merely aligned. He seeks arcane knowledge, my concerns were more corporeal. You want to enslave the city and turn it into a beehive? You think too small. <laughs> this entire world will be mine. Not gonna happen, honeybee. Seriously. Transform them! Or failing that, destroy them! And thanks to the efforts of Zatanna and the Martian Manhunter, all of the robots have been destroyed. Wait, here they come now. Can I have a word? Queen Bee has been defeated. And all of her drones have returned to normal, so there's nothing to worry about, folks. Nothing except that Brainiac's still out there, and we don't know what he's up to. I'm beginning to get an inkling. Have you tracked down the meteor? I want a piece of Brainiac. Not yet. But I'm detecting something else. A powerful electromagnetic signature that... Batman, come in. Can you hear me? Lost the signal. It's worse than that. The whole communications grid is being deliberately jammed. I'm triangulating from Batman's last recorded position. Found it. A communications relay center in the Saka Republic. Former Soviet Union. You and Flash take this one. I want to keep some of us in reserve. Brainiac hasn't shown his whole hand yet. Wear your flannel PJs, it's cold up there. Brainiac, this is the key. The Justice League has already arrived. Is your mission complete? No! Why do you think I called you? I don't care why. I hired you to do a job. If you expect to get paid, get it done. Brainiac out. Brainiac! Brainiac! After I get my money, you'll rue the day you spoke to me like that! I have freed you from your extra-dimensional prison. Unless you want to go back, destroy those men! Launch command and control transfer initiated. Sending encrypted data packets. Please stand by. ICBM launch sequence detected. Where? Coordinates relayed to navigation system. New course plotted and ready. Missile on course. All systems optimal. Good. And it shouldn't be any trouble shutting it down. That man. I was told some of the Justice League might show up. Should have expected it would be you. What could Brainiac have possibly offered you to do something like this? I'm a mass murderer. With any luck, I'm about to set a record. Not today. Back off from those controls. That's so 
cute. Oh. Between you and me, I did get a little something extra from Brainiac for my troubles. He gave me the technology to make these. <laughs> Cool. Someone overrode command and control of our nuclear missiles. There's been a launch. From where? The data's encrypted. There's no way of telling. It could be anywhere in the world. Same for pinpointing the target, I suppose. Da. And with global communication still jammed, that missile might as well be invisible. Just once I'd like to get some good news. How about this? If you can get me inside, I can restore communications. I could track it then, but I don't have clearance to recall it. You have more immediate troubles. <laughs> I've locked you out of the control room and opened a portal to a dimension filled with poison gas. Watch them die! How are we doing? Funny you should ask. Communication grid restored. I should be able to pinpoint the missile launch site and current position. Allow me. I took typing in high school. I was the only guy in class. Got it. Green Lantern's a watchtower. Nice work. You got communications back online. Better than that. I'm sending you the coordinates of the launch site. We're starting to get telemetry on the missile, but it doesn't make any sense. According to this, it's moving at escape velocity. I'll attempt to recalibrate our sensors. In the meantime, I'm sending Wonder Woman and Zatanna to the launch site. If we're lucky, we'll be able to abort the missile from there. But hey, we've been on a roll so far. What's happening? Freedom, if you want it. My mind control helmet. A gift in return for a small favor I require. Fool! With this helmet, your will is mine. Free me! Say, please. It doesn't work. It works. But I'm merely a robotic avatar. The real Brainiac is thousands of miles away. If you want your freedom, you'll have to agree to help him. Very well. What would you have me do? You'll like it. The first step is conquering the people who imprisoned you. <laughs> Having a rough day? Killer Frost's about to have a worse one. We're gonna try and recall the missile. Count again. There are multiple launch sequences already in progress. They've made extensive modifications to the design. Safest thing to do is blow them up on the ground. And the one in the air? Have Superman intercept it. Something's wrong with the watchtower sensors. Jean's trying to fix it, but... I'll go up and help him. In case you need them. Jean, bring me to the watchtower. Kind of a take-charge guy. Let's move. Although I can see how you wouldn't notice. There's a problem. We'll just have to do it the hard way. Let's find the silos. Bet your magic lasso that the missile silos are on the other side of those guys. But we're gonna find out as soon as we take them down. Nobody touches my babies. I don't know how, but you've been misled. If those missiles launch, they could kill millions. And? She's a whack job, Diana. No point trying to talk her out of it. She's right. I'm criminally insane. Want to see my note from the doctor? No, but if you don't step aside, I'm putting you in the hospital. Funny. 
see what you did there. You should get off a good one-liner before you die. Forget her. Concentrate on destroying the missiles. I won't be ignored! Well, that's the last of the missiles. Then I suggest we get a move on. In all the excitement, I may have put a few extra explosives on that one. May have? I still can't find anything wrong. Maybe we're going at this the wrong way. Meaning? Assuming the readings are accurate, what's the missile aimed at? Mars. The Tharsis Ridge. The missiles were modified to allow for interplanetary flight. Brainiacs trying to free the White Martians. They destroyed nearly all life on my home planet before I was able to imprison them in suspended animation. If Brainiac's plan succeeds, Earth will be their next target. I won't allow those monsters to destroy another world I love. I'm right with you, Jean. Let's go. Too late. Don't speak. Save your oxygen. I don't think I'll ever get used to telepathy. I suggest you try. The atmosphere here is far too thin for even your lungs. Dead on target. The White Martians are imprisoned right beneath here. Yes, at least they were. It cannot be allowed to leave orbit. I'm on it. We'll need to deal with those later. Indeed. We must hurry. The Manhunter and his Kryptonian friend fight too well. Launch all vessels now! They've launched their first assault wave. I'll go intercept them. Leave that to the rest of the League. But our only hope now is to destroy their fusion engine before they use it to launch their whole fleet. To put them back in suspended animation, we must destroy their fusion engine. Let's do it. Justice Leaguers. Uh, Brainiac! You have earned my gratitude. Without your efforts, I would never have been able to obtain this crucial bit of Martian technology. Rest, Kryptonian. With luck, by the time you and the Martian recover, it will all be over. Watchtower, this is Superman. We've stopped most of the White Martians, but a battle group escaped. They're on their way. We've already spotted them on long-range scanners. We'll send a team. Hang on. Uh, guys, we've got three major earthquakes at the same time on three different continents. I don't believe in coincidence. It's Brainiac again. Likely. Superman and I will return immediately. I've pinpointed a single source for the earthquakes. Here. Then you guys go investigate. I'll handle the Martian fleet. Hey, Solovar! How's it going, old buddy? Not well, old friend. Grodd is free again. He's rebuilt his mind control helmet and taken over almost every gorilla in the city. That's going to present a problem. I can cast a spell to protect the four of us from his mind control. And this protects me, but nothing can protect the world from the earthquake machine he's built. Using the rotating magnetic core of the Earth as a lens, Grodd can create earthquakes anywhere on Earth. As you no doubt have noticed, he has already begun. Then we find him and shut him down. It is a two-front war, Green Lantern. Grodd is in the palace, west of here. 
Let me guess. The earthquake machine is to the east. Protected by a force field, keyed to Grodd's mind control helmet. So we won't be able to destroy the machine until Grodd is defeated. But it looked like you could use a hand. You'll get no complaints from me. Where's Jean? There's been a security breach at the Watchtower. He'll join us as soon as he can. Let's knock these things out of the sky. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> too little too late, Justice Leaguers. In a matter of moments, my revenge on Gorilla City will be complete. These fools who refuse to live under my rule die at my hands. Hang on, it's John. Attention all personnel. I'm back at the watchtower, and our defenses have been breached. Internal senses are offline. I'll investigate it. John? <laughs> We've been cut off. We've got to go back and help him. First, we take out the last mothership. Then Hera help whoever hurt Jean. This isn't the Watchtower. No, it isn't. It's an emergency bunker 12 miles away. Part of my contingency plans. Which you were going to tell us about when? When necessary. Save the argument for later, boys. The Watchtower's been invaded by person or persons unknown. Obviously, Brainiac's been manufacturing all these disasters to draw us away from our headquarters. We gotta get in there and rescue Jean! That's the plan. Split up into three teams. First team takes out the Watchtower's defense system. Second team goes after whoever took it over. Third team rescues Jean. You heard the man. Let's move. Indeed. I wish I had the time to make this encounter more... intimate. But my work is at a critical stage. My attention and presence is required elsewhere. In the meantime, I expect you will be a bit preoccupied. Yet another Doomsday clone? Obviously, Brainiac made these flawed copies from the genetic material he stole from Star Labs. I wish his larger plan was as obvious. Yeah. Why bother attacking the Watchtower? I suspect it wasn't so much an attack as a robbery. You are correct. He's stolen a mother box. Who's a what? A powerful mini-computer so intelligent it's almost alive. I don't know if even Brainiac's smart enough to completely reprogram one, though. Indeed. It appears to have left us a clue to its whereabouts. It had to follow Brainiac's commands, but it deliberately leaked an easily traceable energy signature. Why? Because it's afraid of what Brainiac intends to use it for. Found it! Brainiac teleported himself here. Love what he's done with the place. Sorry. Brainiac's here, but I can't pinpoint his position. Same with my ring. Too much EM interference. So we'll split up and search the place in teams. Be careful. I'm getting bad vibes off this place. Needed magic to figure that out, did you? Stay alert. Our comlinks aren't gonna have much range down here. Whichever of us finds Brainiac, will likely be on their own. Hurry, Brainiac. I'm working as quickly as I can. I've done everything you ask at the greatest risk imaginable. For a reward? Greater than anyone could imagine? Yes. You promised me power and knowledge.
and I will deliver. You are about to unleash power beyond belief. And learn secrets perhaps better left hidden. <laughs> the cavalry charge late as usual nevertheless brainiac is beaten we've won not until we've shut his machine down if i'm right he was about to look out <laughs> freeing you from your extra-dimensional prison. I promised him he would unleash power beyond imagining. I fulfilled our bargain to the letter. Yeah, and he was also promised great knowledge. And I delivered. What higher lesson is there than this? Never trust Darkseid. Get off my planet, monster! Normally a threat from you is worth considering. But with both a mother box and a sensory matrix field generator at my command, I rather think you should get off my planet. I will transform this world into a new apocalypse. Not hell on Earth. Something far, far worse. I was exiled to another dimension. I sentence you to the same fate, courtesy of the dimension spanning powers of the Mother Box and the unparalleled might of my Omega Beams. Goodbye, Justice League. What did you do? Do not concern yourself with what I have done. Oh, rather tremble at the thought of what I am about to do. Considering I just got vaporized? Yeah. We've been transported to another dimension. Maybe your magic powers... Hello, host! Sunrise! Yeah. Sorry, Batman, I got Jack. No, wait. The spell is revealing something. Maybe a gateway home? Over there. Could be a problem. <laughs> Nice. It's a start. Are you all right? <coughs> Just fine, thanks. So, we're not dead. I think we have a secret benefactor. I'd ask you what you mean, but we're probably too busy to talk right now. I'll fill you in after. Oh! Let me guess, it's the way home? And it practically comes with an instruction book. Not surprising. We were sent here on purpose. The Mother Box? Darkseid thought he vaporized us, but the Mother Box tricked him and sent us here instead. It must have had a reason. It wants us to come back and stop Darkseid. Why else provide us with the ride home? 
No. There's something more we're supposed to do here. Well, the portal's working. As soon as we find the others, we can go. They'll find their own way. Give them some time. It's better if we return in force. Five minutes, then we go. Hold up. I might have a better idea. Where are we? A parallel dimension, and a strange one, too. My ring's acting funny. Almost like it's trying to absorb ambient... John. What do you suppose they mean? Us deceased, I would conjecture. Then I can't help them. We're in trouble. Who told you? Hi guys, need a lift? Can I drive or what? How? The mother box was behind everything. Darkseid thought the mother box was under his control. It wasn't. Not entirely. It zapped us away so Darkseid would think we were dead. To a place with a fully functional teleporter system. Zatanna figured out how to use it to find you and to return us all home. Aw, oh, shucks. Where's Superman? Darkseid kept him. Probably to torture him by showing him this. That's not going to stand. Yeah. What's to stop tall, dark, and gruesome from just nailing us with his Omega beams again? I think I know the answer to that. The rest of the Mother Box's plan. It made a point of sending us to a dimension filled with a strange radiation. My ring soaked up tons of the stuff. I think I know what it's for. This should protect us from the Omega Beams. At least for a while. That evens the odds considerably. It's time to get serious. Ready. Cool. Let's go save the world. First we find Superman. Three-pronged attack, split up into teams. Thanks for the rescue. Kryptonite, sapping my powers. Not a problem. If pressed, I can also pull a rabbit out of my hat. I know where to find Darkseid's throne room. Let's go. First things first. What? Protection from Darkseid's Omega Beams. Good. Then I can handle the rest myself. Clark, wait. What's he thinking? He's not thinking. Darkseid embarrassed him. He's going to try to fight him alone. No, he's not. Superman's got a plan. Follow as best you can. Several sets of doors, each two feet thick, and made of pure osmium, the densest metal on Earth. The rest of the League will be here any second. You need to tell me how you plan to get them open. Pretty simple, actually. I'm going to knock. Superman, I can't cover for you like this much longer. <laughs> Not to worry, Princess. We got your back. We need to regroup, Superman. We'll do it ourselves. Let him keep working. Some of us should establish a perimeter and protect his flank from the parademons. The rest should go with him. Yeah, just in case he actually manages to get in there. You ready to talk to us again? Sure. If by talk you mean kicking Darkseid's ass into low orbit... Then I think we can do business. What's the plan? We attack in waves, minimize the chance of us all being defeated at once. Once we're committed, we don't stop until it's over. One way or the other. Only one way. Darkseid's going down. The Justice League. Live. And you would dare to approach me in my own chambers. I don't know how you maggots survived my last attack, but rest assured, I won't make the same mistake twice. No. I won't be defeated. There's still a chance. You'll have to be.
be a lot faster than that. Flash, among others. This isn't over. You can't control me. You can't destroy me. And there's no prison in the universe that can hold me. I don't believe you're telling me the truth. You know the power of my magic lasso. No one bound by it can tell a lie. If I were free, I'd tear you limb from limb. I believe him. How can you be defeated? Only within the Apocalypse Hypercube. You mean this? Good to know. If you want that lasso, I'd get it off of him. I'll see to it that no one will ever get their hands on this again. Can the damage Darkseid did to Earth be reversed? So, you know, do it. Think you'll ever escape again? Doesn't matter. We're here. <laughs>